Hi there, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to the month of October 2021 for you. And just a quick reminder, you do have a monthly astrology report up already, and you can check that out by clicking on my avatar below and going to my main channel page. I've got playlists, everything's organized there. So if you ever feel lost or you don't know where something is, go to the main channel page. Also, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can always go on to my website, integrativemysticism.com. So what's going on when it comes to your month? Well, let's have a look and see uh, with what's happening with the big themes on the right side. And top row, we're looking at the Page of Pentacles and the Six, Page of Pentacles reverse, excuse me, and the Six of Cups upright. This is you in relationship to your world. And it looks like a lot of you Cancerian people are going to spend a fair amount of this month digging up seeds that you have planted in soil that is not good for it or in soil that is not bearing you any results or bearing you any fruit. And this could be coming as a result of maybe just a lack of results over an extended period of time. We're kind of done waiting. Our, our patience has been exhausted, or we may just be finding better options and better opportunities. And so it is the prudent thing to do. With the Six of Cups upright, I am seeing a lot of reunions also going on throughout the course of this month with people, with contacts, friends, relatives, even professional contacts from the past that are going to be pleasantly surprising you, especially when it comes to situations where we may not necessarily have uh, arrived at the correct conclusion about their role or what they can do with us and what part they can play in our lives. And I mean that in a good way. You know, sometimes we can be pleasantly surprised to find out that someone we thought was a certain way has a hidden talent or a hidden contact, a hidden connection, hidden ability, or maybe we underestimated somebody. And a lot of this month, you're getting a chance to reconnect with these contacts to build a lot more strong, healthy, and connective, supportive contacts, alliances, and collaborations. We may have overlooked things, or it could be that people have evolved in such a way that they are able to now provide what they couldn't provide before. And so really want to make sure that you are keeping an open mind, that we're not fixating on one particular story or one particular person or one particular group, or we are so attached to the conclusion that we reached that we're closed-minded about the idea of being pleasantly surprised, because a lot of you will be pleasantly surprised. When it comes to your culminators, of the month, you know, the bottom line, as well as the ultimate theme of the month, we've got the Ace of Swords upright and the Nine of Pentacles upright. And with the Ace of Swords for the bottom line, you know, this whole month is going to be all about you Cancerian people finally getting the right start or getting the right start in a lot of maybe procedures or a lot of pursuits that you have attempted to get off the ground, but we've always had shaky starts with when it comes to maybe business or relationships, living situations. The Ace of Swords is coming in and really giving us not only a lot of that green light opportunity, right? That chance to finally realize something, finally get something going, finally get the go ahead, but also at the same time, a lot of key information, a lot of important information, the path to success being illuminated by the truth that comes through with the Ace of Swords. Now, this could also be illuminating a lot of truths about people, which is also a big thing to remember. You know, we, a lot of things are getting revealed. A lot of veils are dropping in the best of ways possible. And we may have to revise a lot of our recollections, a lot of our beliefs for our own good, because the ultimate culmination of this month is the Nine of Pentacles upright. And you are seeing a lot of easier ways to realize your goals, realize your aspirations and attain 
the sense of paradise and accomplishment that you want because the nine of pentacles is indicating that this is going to be an incredibly abundant month you're going to see that there are even some early payoffs early payouts early achievements that you can already start to realize we just have to stop trying to make things work in the wrong spaces with the wrong materials or try to make our crops grow in the wrong soil. In fact, with the Nine of Pentacles, a lot of you may also be finding that this is a month where you are being gifted with a chance to stand in a space where you're able to rise above a lot of environmental and social influences that you've had to contend with until this point. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, you do have the Three of Pentacles reversed. Things this month may be a bit frustrating every once in a while uh, because with the Three of Pentacles reversed, we are seeing this command for a team shift, a team alteration, a group shift. Because with the Three of Pentacles reversed, I am seeing that there is a lot of teamwork breakdown activity going on here. Now, this could be happening with your job. This could be happening with your crew. This could be happening with your division, your department. And we're just seeing that a lot of the training, a lot of the processes, a lot of the thought processes in particular, a lot of the strategies that are being implemented here with your job, with your finances, are not paying off the way we estimated or the way anyone has been estimating. And there has to be a better way. You are getting offered better ways constantly. We've already talked about that twice, three times even. So really want to pay attention to where we've hit that dead end and realize that it's not really a dead end. We just have to get out of the cul-de-sac and take another road through that neighborhood. The Three of Pentacles reversed is also indicating that because of a lot of this stress and a lot of what's going on here, a lot of you Cancerian people are probably going to find that you're going to be trading out and pinch hitting a lot of people that you normally do work with, including clients and customers, and that would be to your benefit. When it comes to your social life, friends, relatives, other people, you do have the Page of Swords reversed. And once again, the theme of misunderstandings, misidentification, or incorrect truths, false stories is very, very strong here. And a lot of you are going to have to revise a lot of things because with the Page of Swords reversed, we're going to be finding out that maybe we've been doing some bad math around people. Uh, maybe there have been some projections, some stories that we've believed that are absolutely not true. And sometimes these can be really weird stories to revise because these could be things that we've believed for a very long time about a friend or someone that used to be a friend or things that we used to believe about family or stories that have floated through the family. But with the Page of Swords reversed, it's all BS. And we may find that this does stir up some controversy, but that's how that revelation process works, right? That's how dropping of the veils work. We have to let the lies go, even if it is something that creates a bit of a stir in the very beginning. When it comes to your challenge this month, you do have the Six of Pentacles reversed. You're probably going to be cutting off a lot of people this month. I think that this month is all about you realizing where you've given too much to things that ultimately are wasting what you give them. Very much like we saw with the Three of Pentacles reversed. In fact, a lot of you may be switching sides or switching teams, so to speak, when it comes to even your social life, where you have been giving the benefit of the doubt, where you've been giving your support. And with the Six of Pentacles reversed, you're challenged to make sure that you are free to do that. You know, when new information presents, new opportunities present, people show you who they truly are, you are observing what is actually showing up as opposed to maybe forgetting that or pretending it didn't happen because villains could actually be heroes that just got a bad rumor spread about them, right? Or maybe heroes are actually villains that people just don't want to say anything truthful about. 
this is going to be a month where you're going to have to be able to discern because of the six of pentacles reversed your whole support system is going to be in flux but i think what's happening is it's in flux because it's finally getting sorted out when it comes to love romance and partnerships you do have the king of swords upright this month Love and romance is going into a very fun, very nerdy, very stimulating place because you're getting a chance to start bonding over a pursuit or maybe a desire, a, a creative passion, an intellectual passion, or, um, an, a, you know, again, it's something that ultimately you and a partner are going to be able to chance, get a chance to geek out over. This could even be an artistic path, an education path, or a spiritual path. And with the King of Swords, it's all about the intimacy coming with a meeting of the minds. And this is also going to be a time where you're going to notice that partners are coming in with a lot of solutions to help you tackle a lot of problems that you've been facing yourself as well. The same could even apply to new or even recent additions to your life or new or recent intendeds, whether they're people we've recently been communicating with or people that show up this month. But remember, this is going to be a month where partnerships are taking on more of an active role in creating solutions, you know, for us, with us, to things that ultimately we thought we had to battle on our own. And again, a bit of that fun, nerdy, mental side of things. You know, we're, we're bonding over being geeks. It's just absolutely gorgeous. In fact, a lot of you are going to find those hot nerds, hot librarian archetypes this month. So stay available for it, you know, or keep an open mind about it. When it comes to your month beginning to end, we start off with the Eight of Pentacles upright and the Ace of Wands upright. You are going to be starting off this month with a lot of new updates, a lot of new upgrades, and maybe even an influx of new materials to work with that make a lot of your everyday so much more easy, so much more efficient, and so much more profitable. This could be something that is happening on a systemic level throughout your job or maybe something going on in the home. The Eight of Pentacles is indicating alongside the Ace of Wands upright, there are initiations of new job paths and new career paths, both internally and externally as well. So those of you who are looking for new venues or those of you who are looking for new roads to take, new tracks to climb, this is going to be a beautiful first half of the month for that. What brings this about, interestingly enough, is the Sun card reversed and the Four of Wands reversed. And there is a tremendous amount of recovery going on. Something is getting put back to be the way it should be or the way it should have stayed. And this could be relationships healing. This could be family ties healing. This could be uh, a bit of reform that you're seeing going on in a work or, uh, you know, yeah, work environment or, again, in the sensibilities of your field. Because the Four of Wands reversed is building something new for you to basically claim for yourself that's going to start to become a generator of wealth as well as uh, material security in the long term. And I think that all of this recovery, this reconnection, this healing, this patching up, setting things right, all of this reform across the board is, is what is setting the table for it. The second half of the month, you have the Four of Cups upright and the Moon card reversed. And this could be the that side of the month where we have to pay attention to blessings that have been disguised and things that where we need to change the way we observe the world, how we analyze the world. Because with the Four of Cups upright and the Moon card reversed, you're going to have a lot of revelations about things that you believe to be true that were not true in a good way. And you may be finding things that you have either not given the right time, the right amount of time of day, or you may be finding that you have been blocking yourself from seeing a lot of very pleasant truths. And with the moon card reversed, all of that revelation that we talked about with the page of swords reversed, the ace of swords upright, this is going to be a time where you can really reverse a lot of trends that were not so healthy for you, your friends, your family, and 
set things to to the way that they could be, the best way they could be, or the best way they could have always stayed, if those untruths, if those assumptions, if those rushes to conclusions, or if those false stories and narratives were never given the energy or the breath they had in the first place. So that is what I have got for you Cancerian people. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Should you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.